Hey YouTube! I am back. <laughs> I did not upload anything last week because I was sick. My kids were sick and actually I did record two things so that'll go up this week. Um, at the end of this week along with this week's stuff. So I had to go to my daughter's school today for her gingerbread um, house building and so I had to put on a little bit of a face and so I figured my room's clean my face is on my hair is done let me get this makeup video on one of the kids is going down to sleep the other little rug rat is running around so if he makes an appearance he may make an appearance and if you hear Pinkie Pie in the background that is because they are watching or he is now watching by himself my little pony all right, so let's get this started. Uh, I am going to talk about the most recent makeup purchases I have bought. Do a little swatches um, for you people that would like to see it on brown skin. Because it is different on brown skin than it is on fairer skin. Uh, so let's get started. Um, let's see. Let's see what I'm going to start off with. Most of this stuff is out of the packaging because I am a little late on this and I have been using it. So, And pretty much everything I bought I love. So, first thing I'm going to talk about is my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Single Shadow. And, of course, Macy's put the tag right over it. I think it's called, let me see, I keep it in my one of my um, Z palettes. It's that shade right there. These are Makeup Forever. These are Makeup Geek. I'm not feeling the Makeup Geek shadows. I don't know. I like the makeup forever though. But anyway, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, I have two other little palettes, but um, I don't have room in them for this one, so I put it in here. And this one is called, oh, it's just called Blazing. I love this shadow. It's a perfect crease color um, and transition shade. There is it there. Beautiful. I hope this lighting isn't crap. And there is it there. So not very nice um, in the crease, my kind of shade. So, Anastasia Beverly Hills Blazing. Uh, got that. While I do this, I'm going to throw it away. I'm going to stick with the face. I bought the NARS um, Orgasm. I never owned it before. Not too crazy about it. Um, it's good on its own. Eh. Uh, layered with other things. It's a little better on my, for me when it's layered but on my skin it's a pretty highlight but other than that I like to layer it um with like a cream blush and then I'll put this on top of it and then um it works but if I ever go through it it will not be a repurchase this is my most recent purchase this is the Laura Mercier candle glow sheer perfecting powder um, and this I use for when I use my Giorgio Armani uh, silk foundation or any foundation that's a little more luminous. I don't like to, I find that putting a powder, because my, my powder of choice is actually my Ben Nye, which I need to get another one. But it mats my face too much, so this powder, I saw a YouTuber use it, um, and I picked it up in the color, no, well, in the number five. And it, it really um, keeps your um, under eye um, area from creasing and it doesn't matte it. I have it on today, but I'm a little tired now. I'm pretty sure my makeup has worn off and my eyes are drooping. But it works. I really like it. Um, and it's just very sheer. I should use another finger with this. But it's very sheer. If you can see the sheen and uh, um, you probably can't see it, but it's like right there. But it really is pretty underneath the um, the eye area. So I like it. I think this is $38. And this is my first Laura Mercier purchase. So really like it. Garbage. What's next? Um, talks about that. We're going to move on to my eyebrow kit from e.l.f. I have always used this. I will always use it. It is $3. It is perfect. This is a, um, a refill. So this is the other one. Sorry. So sorry, I dropped you. Um, this is in dark. And I love it. I love it. It comes with a little pencil, a little eyebrow pencil, which I actually use. Um, and it's like waxy. 
but it's I don't use this side but this is perfect it's it's perfect so I see no reason <clears throat> to buy anything else this is three dollars it works fine it lasts throughout the day and I usually just set it with my benefit gimme brow and my color is three so that is the repurchase from CVS love it concealer <clears throat> This Locket Concealer from Kat Von D is the bomb, the bomb. Love it. Mine is in the color Deep Warm, number 33. I love it, I love it. Love the packaging. I love how creamy it is. Love it. I didn't, I wasn't a fan of the NARS Radiant, what is it? Creamy Radiant Concealer, whatever it is. But these two, these two, the Maybelline Fit Me, which I am a 30 in, and um, which is Cafe, and the locket found uh ta what is it what is this what are they i think it's a locket concealer i love it i love how creamy it is it just goes on perfectly what i should have done it's a little makeup tutorial but i somewhat have makeup on when using this stuff maybe i'll do that i like watching makeup tutorials i am in no way a makeup artist but i like putting it on and playing with it um as do my children now Anyway, um, love this foundation. I mean, I love this concealer. I really do recommend it. I want to try the, uh, what is it? <clears throat> the Tarte Shape Tape next. Dying to try that. So, that is the concealer I have gotten. Um, now, this also from e.l.f. Awesome setting spray, makeup setting spray. I have, this is a refill. $3. It does a phenomenal job. I love it. I am never without it. Love it. It. Try it, guys. It, to me, it beats out the other ones I've tried, like the Urban Decay. That thing is like $28. And to me, this is it. So, never changing off that. Unless they do something stupid and change your formula. Alright, two lips. And then I will do some lip swatches while I'm at it. <clears throat> this is Kat Von D. And you guys have, if you follow my, if you watch my outfit of the days, you probably have seen this. But for the sake of putting it in one video, in a separate video for other people who just want to see slip swatches, I shall do this. This is a bow and arrow. And I will apply it. It looks like this. I hope the lighting is okay for you guys. It looks okay here in my viewfinder which I'm always looking at instead of looking at you guys. It's a nice nude, <clears throat> and I'm not going to put any lip liner on just so you guys can see the uh, real color. So, this is bow and arrow. Nice nude. Next is uh, Celebrity Skin from a Jeffree Star. It's kind of, it looks just like bow and arrow, actually. But, again, a nice nude. There it is. And I pair these with, uh, sometimes I pair them with different liquid, liquid lipsticks, depending on the color I want them to be, or um, different um, lip liners, because I'm not walking out the house looking like this. I look like I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> but um I like these they're quick uh, they're not that quick drying and they're not um drying on the lips so celebrity skin Yay! this one is Leo and I like the um the extra thick little wand here and it's like the doe foot applicator there's Leo Very nice. And next we have Teddy Bear from um, Lime Crime. And as you guys can see, uh, I tend to get the same looking lip colors. And around this time I'll do a red because it's the holidays. But usually I stick with the, because uh, I do like, you know, I do eye makeup and all that. I do a full face. and going to work it's like where she thinks she's going well I don't go out okay I have two kids I don't go out so I gotta play in makeup somehow so I usually stick with um pretty nude lips 
So this is a Teddy Bear by a Lime Crime. Very nice. And there it is, a bit dried down. Very pretty, very neutral. This one is a uh, Lolita, and not the Lolita 2 or whatever. This is the original Lolita from Cat Von D. There's that, a little bit dried down. So that's about it, guys. That is my little makeup haul um, for the last two months. So. I uh, thought I'd just come with you, come at you with this little impromptu vlog style. Um, since I had a bit of time on my hands, now I have to go run and do a bit of laundry. And I tell you, these kids have like bits, like millions of pieces of clothing. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And I will be back at the end of the week. I should have my regular outfit of the days up. And that's about it. Hope you guys are well and um, are having a good week so far. It is supposed to plunge into like the 20s at the end of this week. Yay. So I will talk to you guys later. My phone is about to die. See you later. Take care.